What is up guys? Thanks for checking out this video. I'm sure you guys are here to check out this bad boy right here, this AGV Sport Modular Helmet. Let me just say right off the bat, this is my favorite motorcycle helmet. Well, one of the reasons I like this motorcycle helmet so much is that it is a modular helmet. So it opens from the front just like this. So that way you can get some fresh air whenever you need it. And it's easy on and easy off when you got the modular design. Another reason why I like this helmet so much is because it's super light. Just like AGV claims, this helmet is a really light helmet. This motorcycle helmet is probably one of the lightest modular helmets on the market. Oof, a bug, a bug flew in my nose. All right, I think I'm good. But, so this being a very light helmet has its benefits. Going on long trips, going on long rides, it's easier on your body. It takes less of a toll on your body. And at the end of the trip, at the end of the ride, you feel a lot better than you would with a heavy helmet. So this is another reason why I like this helmet so much is because it is super light. And trust me guys, this is a light helmet. Even with my Cena 50S, which I absolutely love, on the helmet, this helmet is still a light package. You know, I got the speakers, the HD speakers that comes with the Cena 50S, and these speakers are just amazing. But enough about the Cena. This Cena is awesome. But the Cena on the on the sport modular helmet, this is still a very light package. So another reason why I like this helmet so much is the air ventilation. You get a lot of airflow, especially with this big top air vent you have on top of the helmet, which is easy open and easy close. And even this front vent here brings in a lot of airflow and it's easy open and easy close. And it brings in a lot of air, trust me guys. This will cool you down, especially on a very hot day. And if that's not enough, guess what? You just open this front vent or you can even open the front completely because this is, you know, of course, a modular helmet. So you do get maximum airflow when you need it. Okay, so let's talk about the interior, guys. This interior is super, super comfortable. One cool thing about this interior is that it has a cool side and it has a warm side. So on the colder days, you could switch it to the warm side, and on the warmer days, you could switch it to the cooler side. But all in all, this interior is very soft, very plush, very comfortable interior. I like it a lot. Another neat thing about this, this motorcycle helmet, which I use sometimes when I'm going at faster speed on the freeway, is this back spoiler, guys. This back spoiler is pretty awesome, man. And you know what? It does help deflect the wind when I'm going at higher speeds. I can just tell a little bit. I don't know if I'm thinking it or if I'm really feeling the difference, but I think I am feeling the difference, guys. This back spoiler is pretty cool. Like I said, if you're going at higher speeds, you're gonna to wanna, to, you know, put it at your liking. It got two levels. Got a lower level, got a higher level, and got all the way down. So whatever works for you, try it out, guys. So guys, I bought this motorcycle helmet on Revzilla.com, and they were having some kind of sale for this particular color, and I decided to jump on it. I think I saved about 150 to $200 around that price, so I got a pretty good deal. That's why I pulled the trigger and I bought this motorcycle helmet, because this is an expensive motorcycle helmet. It's around that $750, $800 price range at retail price. So just wait until whatever website you're buying it from is having a sale to pick this bad boy up and you won't regret your purchase. Even if you buy it at full retail price, this is an awesome motorcycle helmet and you will love it. So as you guys can see, I picked up the gold visor. The gold visor did cost me, I don't know, $100, $120 around there. I also picked up the gold visor on revzilla.com. They do have different colors, so um, I recommend it. Go with a different color visor. It makes the helmet just pops and makes the helmet looks awesome. So another cool thing about this helmet, guys, it does have an internal visor, which you can activate with this switch here. You pull this switch back and check this out, guys. Boom, now you got the internal visor. So say you're rocking the clear visor and it gets sunny, 
boom, you can put that internal visor down and help you with the sun when it's in your eyes. All right, guys, so here's a tip. On really hot days, when I do not want to ride with the front of the helmet open, I close it, I open up my visor, and I keep the internal visor down. So that way I still have some eye protection and you're getting a ton of wind flow. You're getting a ton of wind flow into the helmet, cooling you down. So that's a really good tip. All right guys, so one downside about this helmet, I don't know if it's just the helmet that I have, but sometimes when I'm riding, I try to close this and sometimes it doesn't lock all the way, right? Right now it locked perfectly, but sometimes, you know, like it didn't lock all the way there, but sometimes it don't lock all the way. And I have that issue about every time, almost every time I ride. So I don't know if it's just this helmet guys, it's probably just this helmet, but that's one downside. You know, if it locked every single time and I had no issues, this helmet would be perfect. You know, I like this helmet a lot. So here's another tip guys. So when you get the helmet, you get the helmet with the shield lock, where when you close the shield, it locks the shield and you cannot open it unless pressing this button here. Well, I didn't like that, guys, so I chose to take that off. So what I did was take the little screw, I think it's a Phillips screw, you take that out there, and now you can open and close it without using that, that shield lock, that shield lock button. It's just annoying. I, I didn't like it, so that's why I decided to remove it. So another cool thing about this helmet, guys, it uses titanium D-rings. Just another way AGV keeps his helmet really light. And as you can see, it uses the carbon fiber as well, which is just awesome. I love the styling of this helmet. I love the way it looks. All right, guys, so if you're thinking about picking up this motorcycle helmet, just do it. You're gonna love it. You won't regret it, trust me. I love this helmet a lot. Like I said, this is my favorite motorcycle helmet that I have right now. And I like it a lot better than my Moto Vlog helmet, which is the AGV K6. This helmet is awesome. Pick it up, guys. All right, guys, so any questions about this helmet, leave me a comment in the comment section below. All right, guys, so I gotta get out of here. So if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button because I want you here a part of this channel. And until next time, keep riding and be safe. Deuces.